right, you mad lads and mad ladies out there around the feckin' world. First of all, welcome back to another video. My name is DB Geek, and today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be diving into something new. Something completely brand new to me. Now, I say that because over the last few months, we've delved into a lot of really big franchises and I've enjoyed my experiences with them and there's still some ongoing ones going on right now on the channel. With all of those franchises that we've checked out and we've dived into and the communities that we've gathered here, there was always something that I knew a little bit about. But today, we're going to be diving into something that I know nothing about. This has occurred due to popular demand and a lot of heavily requested comments by all you guys at home. Yes, today I'm going to be reacting to everything Metro. Yes, lads and ladies around the world, we're going to be diving into the Metro series. Now, like I said, I know nothing about this. Absolutely nothing. All I know is that it is quite popular, a lot of people like the Metro series, and I think the newest one that came out was Metro Exodus. Now, I did see a little bit of gameplay of Metro Exodus, and it definitely sparked my interest, but I've never heard or seen anything else about this game. I don't know what it's about. I think it's a first-person shooter. I'm pretty sure it is. So, today in this video, we are going to be checking out every single trailer that has come out for this video game series and this is going to be exciting and yes this is in fact going to be a long one so strap yourselves in lads we have a huge list to go through and i hope you lads and ladies are excited so if you are make sure you smash that like and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you guys want to be a part of live let's plays of any games that i check out make sure you do follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash and consider becoming a subscriber over there as well to support me and also access a lot of great emotes that we got as well anyway Lads, I am ready to check out the Exodus series and I hope you lads are ready too. So, without further ado, let's check out every single trailer for Metro. Here we go. Alright lads, as you can see, we have a behemoth of a list to check out. 39 different trailers regarding the Metro series. So, before we start everything else... I want to give a huge shout out to my good buddy, good friend, and absolute legend of the channel, Mark. Go check him out. I'll leave a link down to his channel down below. He actually recently got his channel back after it being hijacked for many, many months. So if you guys can blow him up a little bit and show him love and support, that would mean the world to me. I left the link down below, first line of the description. Go check him out. Subscribe over there. He does a lot of great anime content. And I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you lads out there that love your anime will enjoy his content. So show him a lot of love and support as he definitely deserves it. But as you can see here, lads, we have a 39 trailer list starting with Metro 2032. Tree. This is the official trailer for this game. Now, I'm not sure if that's the first of the franchise. Maybe it is. I'm guessing it is. And I'm excited to see what this entire franchise has to offer. And that is what the purpose of this video is today. So, let's get into it. Let's check out the first trailer. Here we go. Alright, here we go. First trailer for Metro 2033. Mas Moscow 2013. Alright, so this is live action. This is pretty cool. No subtitles, no? I love the Russian language and the Russian accent as well. There's something extremely intimidating about it. Oh. Okay. That siren can only mean one thing. Oh wow, what's about to happen here?
instant panic. Okay, okay. What is happening right now? Let her through, she's got a kid! I'm sure she's not the only one, but... Whoa, 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 you're not, you're not just gonna leave the mother, are you? What the fuck? Alright, that was a dick move. Twenty years later, hang on, what the freak is going on? I need some context here, dude. Wow, okay, post-apocalyptic. Was it a nuclear strike? Metro. Last. Light. Coming 2013. Enter the Metro. I mean, that's a powerful first trailer. Jesus. Alright then. Okay, so, that was insane. Um, what I got from it was, first of all, it's based in Moscow, Russia. Um, and there seems to be some sort of an airstrike. I don't know if it was nuclear, from the way it ended, it seemed like it was a nuclear strike. And the entire city of Moscow is completely gone. And now... What's the purpose of going back there? I don't know, but I need, I need more context. And I guess that's the whole point of finding out. And hopefully the trailers will tell more of a story. Hence this one here, Metro 2033, is a story trailer. So maybe this will give you the context I'm looking for. Here we go. Peggy 18. All right. THQ. Why should we hesitate? Let's shoot this red spy and be done with it. Shouldn't we call the Gestapo? It'll take them forever to get here from Reich. Who'll watch this peak till then? My name is Artem. Artem. For 20 years, the Moscow Metro has been our prison, our fortress, our home. I was destined to live out my life here. I was destined to die here. But the day Hunter returned, nothing will be the same again. Welcome to Exhibition Hunter. Now close your gate. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. The dark ones are not simple mutants. They're homo novice. Wait, the wait, wait, what? Evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? 
We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? Have a look at her. Ten soldiers trained in combat. It's freaking mutants. Their minds gone. Listen carefully, Atium. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station. Don't let me down. If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated. Hey, Artyom. When you left your home station, do you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world or send it straight to hell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So, well, that, that pretty much confirms it's a first person shooter. All right, you red scum. Offer a prayer to your marks or whoever. <laughs> Fear the future. Metro 2033. Right. Okay, so that gave me a little a little bit more context to what's going on. Um Okay. That was cool. That was very cool. So first of all, the first thing I got was from this was yes, it is a first person shooter. And yes, you're living as someone that has pretty much lived in this place for a long, long time. And pretty much thinks they're destined to live here and die here and now what i also got from that is there's actual mutants which i'm guessing is the the after effects of the nuclear explosion that had happened causing these grotesque mutations i'm guessing still need to know more though i still need to know more all right, so here's Metro 2033 launch trailer. Now, from what I've seen from this list, I don't know if it was a mistake on Mark's half, but the the first trailer that we watched was for Metro last night. So I think the first trailer was not to do with anything Metro 2033. Now, I could be wrong, but we, we shall see now. We'll click this one here. This is the official launch trailer. Okay. Let's see what this has to offer. Lovely blue sky. And yeah, this is what's underneath. Holy shit. Yeah, this is definitely the result of a nuclear strike. Okay, so that's a, like a radiation meter, I'm guessing. And there's still missiles being launched. Okay, so from what I gather, a lot of this you're traveling in groups. Is there a multiplayer aspect to what the heck was that? To this game, I wonder. And the creatures look huge! Some of them are legit terrifying. Holy crap, what the fuck? Okay. Can you switch to and from first person and third person? Alright, so... 
what I can gather so far is that this is an FPS slash horror game. Now, I don't know if you can switch to and from third person to first person view. And it also seems that you travel in groups, a team. So is it team based? Or is that optional? Or is that in certain segments of the story? Interesting. Very interesting. And I'm hungry for more. So give me more trailers, please. We have Metro Last Light announcement trailer. Now, the first one was to do with Last Light as well. I think maybe Mark has his reasons in putting that as the first trailer because it kind of gives you context to the start of how everything happened in the first place and where the nuclear um, warheads came from. So let's see what the announcements trailer for last night has to offer. This is only a minute long. Whoa, that's a cool trailer. Coming 2012. Okay, so that was a very unique trailer. I like that. I like the music as well. Um, very creepy though. Very creepy. I liked it. Hmm. That was eight years ago, lads. That was eight years ago. Now we have Metro Last Night E3 2011 gameplay trailer. So we're actually going to see some gameplay now. We got little bits of gameplay already, but let's see what this has for us. God, the creatures. There's that song again. I love how dark and gritty and eerie and violent it is. Okay, okay. That was very, very cool. It seems to be one of those games where it's just fucking dark all the time, dude. Naturally, because considering the where the, the actual environment is based. Um, yeah, no, this definitely screams fear, violence, gore, grittiness. And it seems like, I don't know what it is, but the trailer looks like as if this game isn't easy either. I think this is a challenge, this game. So, yeah, let's keep going, lads. Now we have Metro Last Light, Enter the Metro. This is a teaser trailer. This is only 26 seconds. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is a continuation of the first trailer. No, that was the, the teaser for the trailer that we got at the very start. Right, okay. Interesting. I'm not sure why Mark put that at the start then. Let me click it. Maybe you didn't get the, the right link. No. Metro 2033 official trailer. Huh. Okay. Apparently that's the official trailer. What does the comment say? Yeah, this is the Metro Last Light trailer.
Interesting. So maybe it was a little mistake, but this was titled Metro 2033 Official Trailer. But in actual fact, it's not. It's it's Metro Last Light. But it's okay, we've seen it, and that's very cool live action. I like that. So now we've seen the announcement, the E3 2011 Metro teaser. Now it's entered a Metro live action short film. This is what we just watched. Yeah, we've seen this. Yeah, we watched this. Okay, so we've already seen that. Um, I think that was a slight hiccup on Mark's behalf. He didn't mean it, I'm sure. Um, but we do need the official trailer for 2033. It's okay, we'll just keep going. We've seen that. We've seen the live-action short film. Very cool, but it does give a little bit of, um, of a prequel context, if you will. Of the story. So it doesn't matter that we've seen that first. But what way to start it? Um, now we have Metro Last Light Survivors The Preacher trailer. Here we go. Okay, so this is меня высмеивали и игнорировали. This is the guy that was preaching in the live action. That's him there. Я терпел это на протяжении многих лет. Я проповедовал правду, которую они не хотели слышать. Я не смеялись подобно детям. Затем настал Армагеддон. So did he survive? And has seemed to have developed a following. Because he was right. Alright, so well at least people listen to him now and he's not just considered a crazy person. Which I'm guessing it was the case before. Now that everybody was like, holy shit, that crazy guy, he was fucking right. Let's listen to everything he has to say. Okay, so now we have Metro Last Light Survivors, the model trailer. Let's check this out. Я никогда не знала, как низко я могу пасть. Okay. И каким далеким может казаться мое прошлое. Когда-то я была красивой девушкой. All right, so we're getting like character trailers. I like that. I hope these are actual characters that we come across in the game. Bullets are the currency. What? Okay, 
Oh wow, she went from a high-end, well-paid, well-known model to... Well, I, I'm... I'm... I'm just, you guys can put the rest of that sentence together. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. It's... Wow. This has impacted a lot of these characters. We have another character trailer here. The Commander. Is this the douchebag that stole the baby? I think it is. I love how the camera always zooms into met to the metro. Maybe it's not. Who's this guy then? Oh no. You're gonna eat that, ain't he? Fuck. Oh shit. It is the douchebag that robbed the baby. I don't feel sorry for him. Just gonna say that now. Okay, so the commander is um in a in the similar case as everybody else, which is Grant. Uh, hierarchy no longer exists. Well, it probably does, but still. Now we have Metro Last Light Genesis. Let's see what this has to offer. I'm really enjoying these trailers, man. And it's nice to get some character trailers as well. And on the seventh day, they say God rested. Wow. But God didn't rest. Oh, okay. I'm guessing, is Genesis maybe a DLC trailer? After that, then we have Salvation Gameplay Trailer. Rated M for Mature. Let's see what this has to offer. So, a post-apocalyptic first-person shooter horror. Very cool. I like that concept. Yes, people make may compare this to Fallout, but this seems a lot more in depth with the story. We wait for a brighter day to come, and a lot better looking, to be fair. But when time is running out, we seem to forget everything we have learned. Jesus. Oh, wow. The quest for dominance. And the blinkered greed of a few rule our destiny. Do we not listen to the voices of the dead? Humanity is too blind to see where salvation lies. Station we brought upon ourselves will Who is that? Alive. Hitler looked like For history will repeat itself. A 
unless our destiny lies within another. Oh, <laughs> you forget, you know, wait, wait, based on the internationally best-selling novel Metro 2033 by Dmitry Glokovsky. Huh. So this is actually based of a best-selling novel. But what I was saying was, you forget that there's mutated monsters in this. Because you're so engrossed into the story of what had happened to these people of Russia. And what's going on in the inside of the metro. Insane. And what's happening outside is a lot more terrifying. But it seems human greed and power still gets in the way. Even in a post-apocalyptic world. That's insane. So now we have Metro Last Light Ranger Survival Guide, Chapter 1, World of Metro. Rated M for Mature. This guide should be your Bible. Read and memorize every bit of information. Your life depends on it. It's vital that you don't lose your mind in this world filled with danger and constant threat. You might not know otherwise, but our world was once completely different. Before 2013, we could go wherever we wanted, but the nuclear war forced us to this life down here in this red perfumed Moscow Metro. This place was purposely designed to withstand a nuclear strike. The Metro is literally the last outpost of the world. We are completely isolated, cut off and more divided than ever. Every station is dominated by different factions. The Metro is a very dangerous place where daily life is ruled by hate and fear. That's why it's vital that you stick with us, the good guys, the rangers. The rangers. Explore every corner of the metro and try to talk with as many people as possible. I tell you, war is coming. Who are they going to fight? Every conversation that you will hear will have some kind of meaning or import on your mission. We won't be able to hold your hand all the time, ranger. It's up to you to be vigilant. Oh my the god! You visit Giant spiders! About the world. You will always be doing something new or discovering unique environments. One minute, you might be battling all the shit! While the next moment, you will be sneaking past guards. Try not to lose your head, as there's more than just bandits and mutants haunting the metro. It's normal to feel vulnerable and threatened. Getting through a station in the metro is a test of survival, not just a test of your combat skills. Oh, what the frick? That's some alien type shit. Into three basic levels. The metro network, the surface, and transition zones connecting the two. The metro is mostly clear of mutants. Here, it's mankind that presents the greatest threat. As soon as you venture into transition zones, expect to face hordes of hungry mutants. Pekings are slim up there, and the ranger makes for a tasty meal. You want to live? Don't drop your gut for an instant, okay? It's been 20 years, but That's the crazy. levels are still strong enough in some places to boil water. The howling winds also make some areas hazardous. Whoa! Beware of hot spots, toxic gas, as well as traps and pitfalls. When was the last time you saw rain, huh? We're starting to see the first signs of a nuclear spring. The occasional ray of sunshine, running water, vegetation sunsets that give you the feeling that you're part of this living breathing world wherever you are ranger pay attention never let your guard down and don't be afraid to face this terror only then do you stand a chance to survive this hell hole okay so that trailer was the first trailer to give me a full look of what this game is like and i'm very impressed I like how you can explore the entirety of the metro 
I love how the threat is mankind in the metro. And then there's the the connection between the metro and the surface. And that is where you come across hordes of mutants and monsters. And that shit is terrifying. And on the surface, the weather can have an impact on the way you travel and on, on, on your character. And wow, like this really, really paints an atmosphere of terror. And I like that. I love how there's there's stealthy options in this and like the overall purpose is is crazy i i love this premise this this whole idea is very interesting very interesting i kind of want to play these games now i i genuinely do um right so our next trailer then is metro last light ranger survival guide chapter two so we have another one but this is chapter two enemy danger Rated M for Mature. Let's see what this one has to offer us, lads. I'm excited. You might think you're one tough cookie, but trust me, Ranger, you ain't seen half of it yet. Enemies come in many shapes and sizes. Where mutants control the outside world, people rule the metro. Humanity has fractured off into extremist factions. The Reich consists of Russian nationalists who want Russian purity. They are waging a war against the threat of genetic mutation and send people off to camps if they do not conform with their ideal of what it is to be human. Stay away from those fascist pigs. The red line. Okay. Believe only communism will unite us. And they possess the numbers and the firepower required to dominate the metro. Hansa are a more Western capitalist group, but they are no less self serving. Of course, there are roaming bandits and gangsters too. No shortage of people trying to kill you. Your only refuge is the few independent stations along with us the Order of the Rangers, the protectors of the metro. Stand up. He's a police ranger. It's up to you to make the right or wrong choices, but your actions will have consequences. Oh, really? People don't forget things easily down here, and karma's a bitch. Don't be surprised if you're faced with the consequences later on. See anything? Let's go check the dead end out. There are two ways of getting past hostile forces. The stealth approach is advised, but beware. Enemies are highly alert and will easily sniff you out. If you are heavily armed and carry sufficient ammunition, you can try to use a more aggressive strategy. If you're outnumbered, you should not expect to survive long. If you can, break line of sight with adversaries and retreat back into the shadows. If they suspect something, they wow. will actively seek you out. They will try to flank you, move from cover to cover, not just stroll into your line of fire. They are not as stupid as they look. You really are being hunted. It's up to you to plan a stealth-based strategy accordingly. Switch off every light you stumble upon, unscrew bulbs, blow out candles, paraffin lamps, and even shoot out the head torches of the enemies. Before entering a new area, try to access fuse boxes, shutting down the lighting in an wow. entire section to create total darkness. You can literally play whatever way you want. Threat, there is an incredible range of mutants. Due to the nuclear fallout, the rate of mutations has accelerated, creating uh, all kinds of hideous freaks. They all have sophisticated attack patterns and behaviors. Don't underestimate them. Whoever you are battling, note that ammunition is scarce. You should really try and think tactically, and be sure to place your shots carefully. You will easily run out of bullets, but you will never run out of enemies. Oh my god! Wow! That's insane! This metro is huge! Well, I'm guessing the metro is basically the whole underground of Moscow. Um, so basically, humanity has made some sort of a... Uh, I want to say... Uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? I can't find a fucking word. But basically, humanity is left underground. And this is where they have to survive. But they've been divided into three different factions. Which is interesting. Two of them are arseholes, basically. Okay? One of them possess all of the manpower, all of the ammunition, and everything. Uh, we have the rangers, which are the good guys, apparently. Um, and then we have this other one that... They, they're, well, fascist dickheads, whatever uh, he called them. But, man, like... There's a lot, there is a lot involved in this game. I was not expecting that. I thought it was just going to be a story-driven first-person shooter, different stages, different levels, whatever. But this seems to be uh, open world. This is completely open world, it seems. And what I mean is open. Like, how much is there to explore? I mean, if the metro is as big as this, as what we've seen, then the surface must be huge as well. So this game is not small by any means. This is a huge game. And a very, very interesting one. Like, it definitely has sparked my interest to try it. Okay, so underneath that then we have Metro Last Light Ranger Survival Guide Chapter 3. Weapons and Inventory. Okay, so this might give us Rated an idea M for mature. of what kind of weapons we can get and stuff. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. If you lads and ladies are enjoying the video so far, please do not hesitate to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Any man, no matter how big or brave, stands no chance without the proper weapons and inventory. Preparation is key. Arm yourself, master your weapon, and study your tools and resources. Here, catch this. Rule number one in surviving on the surface or in transition zones is good mask management. Your mask is your biggest friend, as you cannot breathe the toxic air outside. You can try, but I'm not sure green is your color. Beware that the mask will reduce your field of vision, especially when moisture is on the edges. Your wristwatch shows the amount of air you have left to breathe. When oh. it feels labored, check your watch, and if needed, change your filter your second most precious resource after air is life That's insane your torch has limited battery life so use your hand pump dynamo to power it a lighter can be used to burn away cobwebs and light your torches there are some places in the metro where you need to create pools of light to provide safe passage through the mutant nests Ugh! Your wristwatch also has a light indicator that will tell you whether you can be seen or not. I could use a good watch like yours. As long as your watch remains dark, you can move around safely. If you step out into the light, a blue light appears, meaning you are now visible to enemies. Now for the fun stuff. Whoa. Guns from before the nuclear blast are very rare. Armories and factories in the metro supply cobbled together Frankenstein improvised weaponry. The brutal handmade submachine gun, affectionately referred to as <laughs> the bastard gun, is a good example as, gun. whilst it overheats and isn't entirely accurate, it provides enough of a punch to clear a path. You can carry wow. three guns at the same time, each fully customizable. Three. Okay. Although very effective killing machines, all the guns will take some learning to get used to and to use them to the best of their ability. You need to study them learn their strengths and overcome their weaknesses whoa there you have it ah. on the ground on the ground you bitch i surrender on the ground you bitch to customize your <laughs> weapons or buy other inventory items you'll need military grade ammunition clearly there are no banks in the metro thus these special rounds have become the currency protect yourself buy a i gun. see survival in the metro is about always being prepared for battle you need to scavenge for supplies at all times, prolonging your life that little bit longer. Holy Whether crap! It's filters for your gas mask, spare med kits, or ammunition. Well, Ranger, I hope now you are ready to help your brothers protect the metro from evil scum. You might think you know it all just by reading this little book, but no man has ever won a war by reading. This is not a game. Fear is in the past. It's all on you. Jesus.
Yeah, there, this game involves a lot. Um, yeah, this is just one of those games that you can you cannot rush. Like you literally have to learn every little mechanic in the game in order to survive and what was highlighted a lot was that ammunition is scarce it's not something that you come across all the time and i'm sure it's not something that you can constantly purchase either i'm guessing it's very difficult to come across currency and a lot of this is to think about your strategies and your approaches to any fights or any enemies that you come across and how you deal with them um wow okay yeah I'm very surprised I never tried this franchise out. Because that is intense. Alright, next trailer. We have Metro Last Light Redemption trailer. Here we go. Is Rated this M for mature. a DLC as well? I guess we'll find out. Savior has fallen far. Should such hope be rested on just one man? I see little chance of success. Holy crap! The fuck is that? a symbol to many. I see that bravery, that strength of will. Fate has been unkind. That was an epic trailer. Um, Jesus, just seeing the, the mutated creatures. It seems that there's a lot of different ones. That's really cool. Okay, so now we have Metro Last Light release trailer. A lot of trailers for Last Light. Rated this must M be for mature. probably the most popular one of the franchise. Wow. Whoa, badass trailer, dude. Could you imagine? Could you imagine living in a world like that. 
This game is... It's, it's genuinely... These trailers are giving me chills. Metro Last Light Mobius trailer. What's this? It's a three minute trailer. Mobius, I'm guessing, is a character? No, 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 no. That is horrifying. God. Oh. Now that was a fucking trailer. Holy shit. Whoa. Fucking hell. The mutated creatures in this are terrifying. My God. Okay. So that was the Mobius trailer. Now we have last night Faction Pack DLC. Rated that was in, mature. That was intense. <laughs> that trailer was the intense. Faction Pack DLC. Okay. This is it. I have finally proven that I am worthy of becoming one of Polis Shatria. You might still harbor dreams of looking for some legendary artifacts. I'll be evaluating whatever you bring from the surface and providing you with adequate compensation. The librarians are the worst bastards in town. If you want to stay alive, you better not provoke them. Our main objective is to get into the Chornaya station. It's probably chock full of Nazis, so you better be careful. Let's give these Nazis some bruises to remember us by. Will 
What the fuck? Oh, wow. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> All right, so now we have Metro Last Light Chronicles Pack official trailer. Rated M for Mature. Anna. Khan. Pavel. Return to the ruins I've of Moscow. I've in the face many times and was never afraid. I'm in position. I can see you. I see some kind of movement. Get ready. Now, for the first time, I can't look away from the darkness. I managed to get captured by the Nazis. You fuck! <laughs> Am I growing older or what? Our time is... The MC of the Metro series, I'm guessing. Most people believe Metro to be just tunnels and stations. The Metro is a living, breathing thing. People tend to see things here. Some see the past, others the future. Polyanka shows people things that have to be seen. The devil is always there where suffering is. Alright. Interesting. So these are all the DLCs that you get with it. Okay. So they add a little bit more to the story. And extra characters and stuff. Now, we're on to Metro Redux. Or Redux. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but... This is the next installment to the Metro series? I'm guessing. Product not yet rated. Let's see what this is like. I can't wait to see the, the upgrade in graphics and... Oh yeah, already immediately. Immediately looks a lot better. My mother told me I'd grow up to be a good man. Artyom, she said, my light. And I believed her. When I spared the life, I believed her. And then when I killed... I believed her. It was a lie. These things I have done. My hands are blackened with blood. My soul is damned to purgatory. The fuck? Is based on this one. Okay, they like this. They like saying that, don't they? All right. Metro Redux came out on the PlayStation Four and the Xbox. Oh, okay. I'm okay. I'm getting really more into. I'm just eager to watch more of these trailers now. This Rated is a M for mature. five-minute trailer, uncovered. All right, let's see what this has to offer. I hope you lads and ladies are enjoying the video so far. It's interesting just seeing all of this Metro at once. 2033 and its sequel, Metro Last Light, have earned their reputation as two of the most immersive first-person shooters of modern times. Based on the novels by Dmitry Glukovsky, they took players on an epic journey that followed Artyom's quest for redemption in a vividly realized post-apocalyptic Moscow. 
This bleak and uniquely Russian vision of the apocalypse is shot through with gritty post-Soviet realism and Eastern mysticism and mythology. Although they were also released on the last generation of console hardware, the only way to fully appreciate the achievements of developer 4A games has been on a high-spec gaming PC until now. Welcome to Metro Redux, an ambitious remaster of both Metro games for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Oh, PC. it's a remaster! Now this is how I'd like to enjoy the games. Metro wow! Redux uses the latest iteration of the incredibly powerful 4A engine. The previous generation console versions had to compromise on graphical fidelity. But with the advent of the PS4 and Xbox One, the hardware in the living room is now capable of delivering that original high-end PC experience. Good looking at my ass. It's way out of your reach, rabbit. On both PS4 and Xbox One, the frame rate is now a rock solid 60 frames per second. Sweet! The resolution has almost tripled over the previous generation of hardware. To put it another way, Redux pushes three times as much, twice as fast, with a superior visual quality. And of course, PC owners can enjoy 4K resolutions and even further enhanced visuals if their hardware allows. But Redux isn't just a graphical improvement. It's a gameplay improvement Metro as well. Metro 2033 Redux has been completely rebuilt with the latest 4A engine gameplay framework. You will now experience the improved AI weapon handling and stealth from Metro Last Light in 2033. All the improved features have also been included, such as the mask wipe, weapon customization system, stealth kills, and non-lethal takedowns. Jesus! Oh wow, this looks gorgeous! Before visiting Metro 2033, there are plenty of new hidden areas, secrets, and even new exciting gameplay encounters to discover. Where previously a level might have ended abruptly, once separate areas have now been seamlessly stitched together. Oh! The ruined surface of Moscow feels even richer than the last time round, thanks to the addition of global illumination. The outdoor areas in both games benefit from this new feature, but the change to yeah, it looks so much better. Is even more dramatic as the levels have been retextured and rebuilt with additional geometry to take advantage of the new time of day, weather effects, and superior skyboxes. This desolate world now perfectly captures the bleak atomic winter, with pale sunlight filtering through the clouds to touch on ice and snow. The characters really come to life thanks to the use of improved character models and animation. Wow! ...benefit from better AI patterns and responsive hit reactions. Wow, it looks gorgeous, man! 2033 was renowned as a challenging game, and many fans will still long for that hardcore experience. That's why 4A Games added two unique playstyles to Metro Redux. Spartan is close to the epic Last Light experience, challenging yet rewarding. But survival is for the purists. Resource management is vital. Enemies are more aggressive, are quick to react and hunt you down. Weapons are slower to swap and reload. This is the survival horror experience you remember, and you can enjoy it in 2033 and Last Light. Ranger mode returns in both games as an additional optional layer. This mode makes combat even deadlier with hardcore rules and delivers the ultimate in immersion by stripping away the HUD and UI. You will have to keep checking your ammo and equipment to stay alive. Artyom's watch is indispensable here, functioning as a filter timer and stealth indicator. Oh, cool. Metro Redux also includes all the Last Light DLC, about 10 hours of gameplay, including seven new single-player missions, the Tower Challenge, AI Arena, Shooting Gallery, and extra weapons now playable in the campaign. That's awesome! 
The Epic Metro Redux Double Pack brings two classic single-player campaigns together to create one of the most memorable stories in gaming. Offering tens of hours of gameplay, Artyom's story feels even more real with this incredible visual update. The world has never felt so immersive and authentic. It is time to journey back into the darkness and enter the Metro once again. Whoa! Okay, that... That is cool! I am very pumped about that. So Redux is basically an entire revamp of the original two games. For high-end consoles, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and it looks even better on PC. So I'll probably get it on PC. Maybe PlayStation 4, um, considering I do like using controller. But uh, that is sick! That is so cool! Um, that was very awesome. Now we have the Redux launch trailer. Let's check this out. Rated M for Mature. Oh, I'm very, very happy about that now. Very, very happy. Whoa, what the freak? It looks great. It looks fucking fantastic. Redux looks great, man. Oh, so cool. Yeah, I know if I was going to play these games, I'd definitely have to play the Redux versions. Um, simply because they look stunning. Holy crap. Now, now we're on to the new stuff. Metro Exodus. I believe Metro Exodus is the newest of the Metro franchise. Let's check this out. I'm excited to see the huge revamp and a huge change graphically. They really like bringing that up, that it's inspired by the novel, but I guess credit is credit is deserved. Um, give credit where it's deserved, I guess. Okay, so look at this. Holy shit. This is gorgeous. To live without hope is to cease to live. Oh wow. Are you still playing as Artem? Wow, wow, graphically the game is unbelievable looking. Wait, that's how he picks up ammo? Wow, literally picks it up.
Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. Is this actual gameplay? Oh, it's jammed. Oh, he's on the surface. Holy fuck. Oh wow, the air is clear. What the hell? How? Whoa, look at the map. Man, this is the gameplay. Holy hell. I'm uh, I'm blown away by the look of this game. All right. Poor little bugger wasn't doing any harm, but sure. Looks beautiful. Oh, oh my god. That is a mutated bear if I've ever seen one. No way this is gameplay. Is this gameplay? Is this what the game fucking look like? Ah, lads. Ah, lads. That's unreal. That's unreal. That's after blowing my mind a little now. That's... What the freak? Oh my god, that looks beautiful! That game looks amazing! What a huge jump! What a huge jump! Graphically, gameplay-wise, sound, music... Jesus, that's unreal! That couldn't have been gameplay. That just must have been, like, showcasing trailer kind of a thing. Just to show you what... You know, what we want the whole game to look like. I can't imagine the whole game running like that. But that was awesome. Now we have Metro Exodus, the Aurora. Aurora. Man, this is... I'm literally hungry to play this game now. Look at it. Metro 2035. There's no one out there, Artyom. So this is no two years after 2033. Us. No one to hear us. He must have wrote two novels then. He 
If there was, don't you think we'd have found them? This world is dying. We have to accept it. There's only us. Why do you keep going up there? What are you hoping to find? Each time you go out there, I wonder if you'll ever return. The metro is all we have left. And I don't want to die here alone. Ew. Wow. Wow. I want to believe there's a world out there, Artyom. I want to dream. The game looks stunning. It's stunning. You know, just, you know, watching older trailers and then leading up to the new stuff just makes you have that sense of appreciation. You know, that appreciation to see how far development of video games has, in fact, come. And it's just amazing to see what 2033 compared to Exodus is like. It's, it's nuts. So now we have the E3 2018 gameplay trailer. Here we go. Now this will give me a better idea what gameplay is actually like. And the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, Stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. Let's move out, Artyom. Okay, so here's the gameplay. Yeah, it's still really fucking impressive. Holy shit. Look at it. Look at this freaking game, dude. I like how a lot of it's on the surface. I'm guessing the whole game is based on the surface rather than just stuck in the metro. Oh, well, we're in the metro now. Holy shit! Even the water's terrifying! I'm still very much impressed. The Exodus trailers are fucking insane. Wow. This literally only came out last year, this game. 
That's how new it is. That's how new it is. Could you imagine a next-gen Metro game? Already talking about a next-gen Metro game. What the fuck? Okay, so now we have Metro Exodus Gamescom 2018 trailer. Here we go. Inspired by internationally best-selling novel Metro 2035. So this is a second Metro novel. Looks like a normal deer. So normal creatures still exist. Look at that. Shit. Oh no, what's in the water? Dude, <laughs> the game looks terrifying as well, doesn't it? Oh, Aora Edition. Oh, pretty. Nice steel book. Ooh. I do like my steel books, not gonna lie. Okay, so well, now we have Metro Exodus title sequence. What's this about? Very pretty. Some fancy trailers that they put together, aren't they? Jesus. I like that. Now we have a story trailer. Now this, this I want to see. Let's see what this is about. What, what this Metro game is actually about. We're still playing as the MC Artem. The sun on my face. Fresh air in my lungs. The grass beneath my feet. I'd heard of such things, yet I lived in a world without them. An underground world. I have no recollection of life before the blast. There's only Metro, nothing else. Just a girl when the bombs fell. You were right all along. It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Could such things exist again? I live in hope. So let your hand 
slay the enemy's servants with no rest or mercy! See the people I have to work with here? Complete and utter degradation. We are the government you people deserve. I'll drown you in your own blood! So you do understand. There is no other way. Man is a beast. A beast! Who are those people trying to kill us? It's the strongest who survives! But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? <laughs> you're not saving anyone! Wow. The future is still all I fear. Wow. So it seems that there is still a massive divide um, in humanity between the three different factions. That's what I'm getting. Um, I think the whole purpose of Exodus is to get out of the metro explore the surface to find out if it's just moscow that has been affected by this this catastrophe of a disaster is other countries still living the normal life or is the entire world post-apocalyptic so cool i love the whole concept of metro now very badass now we have the weapons trailer This I want to see. In Metro Exodus, your mission is to lead a group of survivors across post-apocalypse Russia, searching for a new home. With danger waiting at every turn, searching for a new your home. arsenal of weapons needs yeah. to be as varied as the stops on your journey. In this video, we break down the tools at your disposal. Using a new customization system, you can evolve your arsenal in the field, effectively adapting to any situation. Just saw your backpack. Whether it's a silent assassin, close range heavy hitter, or anything in between, there's a multitude of options available to suit your preferred style of play. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Handguns. Oh my god, throwing rocks at you! The fuck? Lightweight, compact, fast firing, and customizable. Handguns are highly versatile weapons. Perfect for close range combat and stealth wow. missions. Classics like the revolver or fan favorite and aptly named bastard gun are ideal for small groups of enemies. With a few bastard mods, gun. However, I like said buster gun. Ah. Transformed into a medium range rifle or rapid fire SMG. Versatile and dependable options for close quarters combat. Wow, nice shot. Shotguns. I think shotguns would be my favorite. Shotgun surviving the war, Metro engineers had to get creative. Salvaging scrap from the surface world, cutting, welding, and repurposing materials, they designed a duo of powerful weapons for devastating close-range combat. The Ashot and the Shambler. Metro made shotguns that pack a mean punch. Due to their famed reliability and durability, a few examples of the Kalash and Vilop, nicknamed the Bulldog, survived the apocalypse. These rifles are accurate, wow. powerful, conventional assault weapons that can be customized to become highly versatile in the field. So cool. That's actually so fucking Sniper's cool. Sniper's best friend and Anna's rifle of choice. The Valve is Anna's the most powerful, rifle. traditional, anti-material rifle made in the Metro. Bolt action, customizable, and with higher capacity magazines available, the Valve is the best option for loud, long-range takedowns. As functional pre-war weapons are a rare commodity, 
the Metro's finest gunsmiths developed highly original, functional designs to meet the challenges of the modern age, with the silent Tihar rifle and the deadly Helsing crossbow. These special weapons can always be equipped for missions when stealth is a must. The ability to also craft standard and incendiary ammunition from salvage and scrap makes these improvised works of art indispensable. With a wide range of weapons available, it's down to you to find the right choice that fits the situation and your style of play, giving yourself options to adapt and think on your feet. Remember, combat wow. isn't the only solution. Being creative, using the environment and thinking tactically using light, shadow and the tools at your side can neutralize a potentially deadly confrontation. But if the this bullets is so badass, to fly, dude. You'll know you have a solution at the ready. This is fucking Maintain awesome. Maintain your weapons, scavenge attachments and resources in the field. Conserve ammunition, customize and adapt, and you will never find yourself on the losing side in this constant battle for hope and a future for your people. Oh, the weapons! Ah, oh, I need to play these games. I need to play them. I need to play them. Lads, if you do want to see me play these games on the channel, like genuinely if you do, you need to destroy the like button. Like, I need to see the support on the video. I want to see the comments blow up. I want you guys to let me know that you want to see it. Other than that, I will play it in my own time because I need to get my hands on this game regardless. Um, now we have Metro Exodus Handgun Class. Handguns. All right, let me just see Small, all this stuff. Versatile and effective. The we did. Is so these are just the trailers broken down. We don't need to see that because we literally seen the shotgun class, the rifle class, and the special weapons class. We've seen them all in that one trailer. So we can skip all that. Let's go to Metro Exodus Uncovered. All right, so this is a good five minute long trailer. Welcome to Metro Exodus. Man, the monsters. The mutated beasts. An epic story-driven shooter set in post-apocalyptic Russia that blends ferocious combat with exploration, survival, and stealth. Jesus. Five years in the making, it is developer 4A Games' most ambitious work yet. For newcomers to this incredible world, this video explores what makes Metro such a unique, compelling experience. The year is 2036, a quarter century after nuclear war devastated the Earth. The few thousand survivors cling to existence beneath the ruins of Moscow, in the tunnels of the Metro. They believe so it the devastated Earth the entire Earth. Land. Just only Metro, nothing else. But they were wrong. As Artyom, you must flee the Metro and lead a band of Spartan Rangers on an incredible continent. Spartan Rangers, Rangers. I love it. Post-apocalyptic Russia. This gripping story, packed with memorable characters, takes place over an entire calendar year, through the changing seasons, from spring, summer, and autumn. Wow. to the depths of nuclear winter. Metro Exodus takes the cinematic, narrative-driven gameplay of the previous Metro games and introduces huge open environments that deliver a brand new experience. The core gameplay pillars that support this Holy bold new shit. design are combat, exploration, and survival. Metro offers thrilling and varied combat, from desperate encounters with ferocious mutants to tactical firefights with human foes. How you approach dealing with hostiles is up to you. Metro supports both run and gun and stealth-based gameplay. Waiting until night to attack a bandit encampment sounds like a good idea, 
snuff out the lights and take them down silently, or stage a dawn assault and go in guns blazing. I have a present for you here, a Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? Combat is underpinned by a unique arsenal of deadly handmade weapons. Yeah, the gun weaponry is, is so cool! Allowing the player to modify damage, range, handling, and accuracy by swapping out parts. Strip any weapon for upgrades and use those parts to switch your loadout on the fly. That revolver you found, why not fix a long barrel, a shoulder stock, and a scope to it? Now you've got a long range weapon capable of picking enemies off at a distance. This system places a huge amount of tactical variety in the player's hands. The world of Metro Exodus has been handcrafted to reward player exploration. Every location you'll find has a story to tell, from a long forgotten nuclear bunker to a tiny hamlet hiding dark secrets, to an ancient church transformed into something sinister. You won't find pointless fetch quests or busy work in Metro's vast open levels. Every objective is narrative driven and woven seamlessly into the main story. We give you a map, a compass, and the freedom to think for yourselves. It's up to you to discover the hidden stories of the wasteland. So there's a lot of side In Metro Exodus, stuff. survival is everything. You'll be roaming the wilderness, battling mutated beasts, hostile oh factions, God. and the deadly environment itself. Artyom must hunt for resources, stripping corpses and searching interiors while new crafting mechanics allow you to construct the gas mask filters and medkits needed to survive. Environmental hazards like anomalies and toxic zones, and dynamic weather including electrical storms, combine to create a dangerous world. Camps and outposts allow you to rest and replenish your strength, and offer more advanced crafting options. Dynamic day-night cycles transform the game world. Dare you venture out in the darkness where mutants are at their deadliest, or wait until daylight and risk meeting patrols of enemy factions. Artyom's incredible journey is made possible by the Aurora, a gigantic steam locomotive that acts as the player's home and base of operations. The Aurora will be your safe haven, a place to bond with distinctive characters or delve into the deep lore. Storytelling is at the heart of Exodus. Your decisions will have consequences on the story, depending on the way you choose to play. This is a world to get lost in. From the combat to exploration and survival, Metro Exodus is a singular, immersive experience. Wow. See you I'm in the actually wasteland. so um, blown away. And the fact that he called me a freaking Spartan? Oh, wow. Dude, that's insane. Oh, I love it. Spartan Rangers. In a post-apocalyptic world. Trying to discover a new haven. Oh. Oh, it's just it's orgasmic. Now, Metro Exodus Artyom's Nightmare. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh shit, this is a full-blown cinematic trailer. I'm hyped. What the fuck? Come closer, Artyom. 
he's clearly dreaming. That's Anna, isn't it? Whoa! This is one exhausting nightmare. This cinematic is so sick though. Oh shit, here we go again. trailer was amazing that trailer was fucking amazing dude oh fuck i gotta play these games i'm hungry okay so we have la the last three trailers lads we have metro exodus launch trailer metro exodus to two uh kernels trailer and metro exodus sam story launch trailer let's finish it let's finish this Exodus looks amazing. Yeah, I need to play this game now! <laughs> oh, wow! Ah, lads. That's insane! Alright, okay, okay. Two Colonels trailer. Here we go. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. So your father is on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. Colonel Klevnikov, report your situation. Over. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it and who we cannot. Are you ready to face your maker? The truth that might scare them must be kept secret for their own good. Wow. 
I can't get over how good this game looks. We both served the great lie because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. But now I can finally look truth in the eye. The two kernels available now. Sick. Absolutely sick. Alright, so we have our final trailer. Metro Exodus, Sam's Story launch trailer. Let's finish this, lads. Here we go. Parting with my friends was hard. Like RTM before. I chose to pursue my wild dream. Like Archim before. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean. And I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. One step at a time. Man, the mutants in this are so scary! Привет, Vladivostok. So Sam is a separate character. So this is, I'm guessing this was the DLC. So different story missions. Maybe some different areas with a different character. My god, we did it. That was every Metro trailer. Just take my goddamn money. Alright lads. We just watched every single trailer that has come out for the Metro video game series. From 2033 to Exodus. And oh my fucking god, was this an experience and a half or a what? I, I'm kicking myself for not getting involved into this franchise. For not being a part of the Metro community. And this amazing, amazing series of games. From what I've seen from the trailer, I'm very much impressed by the whole premise and concept of the Metro games. I love the survival horror aspect to it. I love the 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 range of different weapons you can you can choose from and customize. I love the the story, the origin of it all, and how it all came about, and you know the divide of humanity and the battle for power and supremacy underneath the metro the metro the underneath moscow the underground of moscow has basically become the entirety of humanity well this is what the people of moscow only know there's people that have been born there raised there and died there you know because it's been quarter of a century more since and people have lived their entire lives in the underground it's all that they know and as far as most people are concerned the surface is is an unhabitable place. It's not a place you can live. It's just full of monsters and fear and terror and just up the apocalypse. So <clears throat> the whole thing is fascinating and interesting. Has definitely captured my attention, and I genuinely want to start playing these games. I do, and I want you guys to let me know if you do want to see that by let me know in the comment section below and of course leaving a like on the video other than that i will play this game in my spare time and i will in fact play the stories the way they needed to be played on the engine it needed to be played 
we are going to be playing the redux versions of the original games because it looks stunning in full 60 fps redesigned character models and environments and upgraded ai and all that good stuff so that would be the best way to play those games and i will i'm gonna play them i want to know the story of artyom and moscow and the metro and how to survive and how the game plays and the different character scenarios and all of the different decisions you can make throughout the game this this is very ambitious if anybody said this to me and pitched this idea to me years ago i'd say you're out of your mind that's way too much that's that's only video game fantasies there's no way such a game is possible to make but man i think they pulled it off even way back then in you know 2011 to 13 this was a huge ambitious thing and to see how far it's come to see what exodus looks like now my god uh, i can only imagine what they have planned for another metro title because this shit is mind-blowing like wow you can get hours upon hours upon hours of gameplay out of this from just how you approach the game how you play the game and how much of the game you actually explore because I like the fact there is an exploration aspect to it. You know, it's not just a first person shooter campaign. There's exploration. There's different places you can explore and come across different scenarios. And, you know, decision making has a big impact on the story as well. So I'm sure you can play this game multiple times and come out with different different endings. Maybe I'm not sure if all endings are the same, but it's fascinating story of of metro is fascinating and artem and man we have another badass to add to our first person shooter badasses lads we had isaac clark from the dead space universe we had of course master chief from halo universe uh we have doom guy or doom slayer from the doom universe now we have artem from the metro universe wow i just have to clap my hands i have to applause it those trailers are fantastic and the general story of metro is fascinating and i can't wait to see more i'm hungry to play the game now very very hungry but anyway that was my video that was my reaction of the entire metro series game trailers and stuff there was a lot we got through them all and i've learned a lot from these trailers and it's generated some serious hype for the game metro and i want to play them um, so if you are a Metro fan, make sure you consider leaving a like and subscribing as well. And let me know in the comment section if you do want to see this guy play the games. I'd be happy to do so. I'd be happy to stream them on my Twitch. So follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dvgeek. I'll leave a link down below in the description as well. And again, like I said at the start of the video, it'll show a lot of support to my boy Mark. I'll leave a link to his channel down below as well. But I am going to end the video here, lads. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome. And be happy and I'll see you dudes in my next Metro video. See you later dudes.